What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mo here for another review, and today I'm going to review a episode from season three of the Cuphead show. That one, since we're in the holidays, why not review this episode? This is from episode. This is episode six, a very devil Christmas, which is the like I said, successful the Cuphead show for season three. This actually came out on November eighteenth of twenty twenty two, which. Let's just face it, when it, it's at least on Netflix, which they release every episode, the whole season, in Netflix, like every year then, doing one by one, you know. I guess how they see each, every cartoon. But that's one more particular that's like, involves more of a devil, which, okay, to bring up the whole thing, Christmas brings out the worst in the devil, who is notoriously naughty. Until he tries schemes to get himself on Santa's nice list. But before we begin, did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so, have you been good this year? If not, don't try. Don't try what the devil is trying to do. You will. You will reap what you sow. Literally. So yeah, we already got the plot. This takes place. Everybody in Inkwell Isle is enjoying the Christmas time, except the devil who's trying to who ruin it. Because remember, he's not a fan of Christmas. He sings a song about about enjoying ruining Christmas and terrorizing sins because he's a devil. We expect. And the song was called "Brings Out the Devil in Me." No oh, shit. He's a good singing dancer. Well, not anymore when he got beaten by by a game of. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> so, yeah. What? Uh. <sighs> of course. It's kind of weird that. Okay. Sorry, I've been mean, lost in mind lately. But, yeah. Really, Christmas. As uh, soon as he's finishing his musical note, he hears a train whistle and pushes some kids aside to look at a toy, a, a toy set at a toy store window. This ignites his interest in wanting his own one until he overhears a kid whining about wanting the train to before off his list on what he also wants. Before his mother reminds him about the naughty list, much to the devil's confusion. Because I think he never heard of it before. It's kind of weird. He's the devil. He should know a lot more. But he then goes up to Sammy and questions him about the naughty list before the latter answers him about how if he's on the naughty list, he won't get any presents. Good question because the devil's the lord of evil. Of course he'll be the more naughty one of all. Back in hell, during a meeting... He has some minions, including uh, I forgot this guy. This what's his name? Uh, Stickler. About if he can get on the nice list, which everybody eh, didn't dare to answer. Even Skiller just put his hands down. Like, eh, no. That's when henchman mentions, "Why not?" Okay, because much to our other shock. One of the imps tells henchmen on not knowing the nice list. He is obliterated and his words are known penned on henchmen, who then tells him he can't qualify for the nice list due to his villainy, which, yeah, he's the devil. Of course he won't be on the nice list. <laughs> he's very bad. Which, of course, the devil prompts to go out and try to get himself on the nice list. So we arrive at the North Pole, which, oh my god, it's a beautiful set. And remember, this is Rotoscope, because the guys behind the Cuphead show, are the same partners with the guys who created the game, took a lot more influence from the the old Fleischer cartoons, that like the Popeye cartoons, where they use live models behind the cartoons, make this more realistic. But it was like a lot in the Cuphead show. I was like, there's one episode... That feature when Cuphead finds the land of sugar. Which we have this weird song about candy land, sugar land. Which we all want to know about the origins of Bears and a Bomb Bomb, which she mentions a curse, which she says it'll be an 
that'll be that's a story for another time. I was like, okay, why is that? We oh, want to hear that story. Not not Sally Stage Shine. Of course, we get to see the workshop. Everybody, all the elves are happy. They're cheery. They're singing a song called "Making Christmas Toys." Yeah, that's what elves do. Of course, Santa appears there. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Of course, everybody excited to see Santa. Why not? So when Santa goes to his office, he finds the devil there already. When he says, "Oh, hello there, Harry child." Wow, Santa does not recognize the devil. He thinks he's a hairy child. <whistles> Damn, San Santa! You've been along, you've been around for a while. You never heard the devil. Damn. By the way, how's Krampus? <laughs> but yeah, of course, the devil then goes over to Santa and requests him to get a toy train before eventually finding the devil on the naughty list. This several accepts the devil and Santa decides to make it up for him to get on the nice list. If the devil can be a good boy until midnight, he will be moved onto the nice list. He then attempts this, only to fail as he accidentally obliterates an old lady, much to Santa's disappointment later on. Here, the devil is now stuck on the nice list forever. As the latter then begs to do anything, Santa then hatches the idea. Here, the elves are doing a ritual. Santa performs a spell on the devil. That seemingly does not nothing at first. Oh yeah. The North Pole has a cult. It looks like a satanic cult, but it's more it's like a Christmas satanic cult. <laughs> but yeah, but nothing happened. Soon later in hell, devil it starts to trans slowly when devil that is in hell. Something starts to happen. He starts to turn into guess what he turns into? Santa Claus himself, which of course, before Henchman finds him, he gets a boss. Which of course, the devil then confesses that he just wants a toy train. Before Henchman logically questions on if he wants a train so bad, why doesn't he summon one? The devil then answers that he wants to get the train through morality and goes back to North Pole, which of course. Here he questions the elves about Santa's whereabouts to turn back to normal before the elves. Before, guess what? The shocker between devil and henchman. Santa, the elves have a stickler as well, or elf stickler, which they are shocked they have one too. Yes, how many sticklers are there? I do not know. If there's a stickler for hell, there's one for the North Pole. Is there a stickler for heaven? Holy shit. <laughs> of course. He explains to him that Santa has disappeared and that he is the new Santa. Wow, sounds like the Santa Claus to me. With a, with a devilly twist. He explains that to him that Santa has disappeared, like I said, and he's the Santa. He, and to get back to normal, he must deliver all the nice people presents. Otherwise, he'll be Santa forever if he refuses. <laughs> After going through a few rules, which of course Del starts to lose his temper, like literally he first obliterated Elf Stickler right there. Of course, Hentrin is getting a boss, and then he reverses, and Elf says, like, "Shoo, damn! He, why he couldn't do that with his own Stickler? He did with this Elf. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him." Of course. After going through the rules, the devil then hops into a sleigh and mispronounces the reindeer's name very insultingly, causing them to flee. Which got him sad until Henchman volunteers to be the reindeer. Which, of course, he's excited because, like, first of all, Henchman likes Christmas. He loves Santa. So I think he's the nice boy. Here, the devil then delivers all the presents as he gets tortured through several ways, like tangled up, electrocuted by Christmas lights, stabbed by icicles, mauled by dogs, getting sick of eating. Eating, drinking, milk, and cookies, respectively, because, hey, I don't know how Santa does it, but he must be a diabetic. <laughs> and Devil might prove it. After learning several more presents, Henchman also that the Devil has only one house left until Henchman is. Well, he didn't dare to say name until they arrived at the house. That's when he, when the Devil recognized it, it's the Cuphead and Company house, Cottage, which, of course, he's pissed off. 
Eh, yeah, but of course, Henry Brian's gonna, he has to be jolly. As they land, Henchman motivates him. As the devil enters the cottage, he knows the tree from the previous episode, of course. The devil proceeds on giving the gift first. Mugman's gift, a stack of books. Elder Kettle, a new rating, before finding a toy train that he wants, before lifting the tags actually for Cuphead. Which, to the devil's point, Cuphead has been that naughty as well. If we've seen all the episodes from seasons one and two, including season three, how the hell they come has been nice and he's been the troll maker. Like, we see a lot. Like, he tortured his brother, get into trouble. Literally, a lot and a lot, a lot. And yeah, he's in the nicest. He gets he gets a toy train and devil does it. Damn. That question is something right there. I don't know, because he's the hero? I don't know. Of course. As then, he considers on taking the train for himself. Cuphead then finds him and confesses how hard it's been for him to be nice when he goes out to be more naughty. Which, okay, then mostly, this mostly breaks the devil's heart because, first of all, this is the guy, this is the kid the devil wants to get his soul on after being tricked, cheated on from the game of Spool's Ball from the very first episode of the Cuphead show. And he's trying to get the damn soul ever since. And yet, after hearing this, he's, it's emotional. And then he decides to give the train to Cuphead. The devil then teleports outside the cottage to look at the nice list. If he got into it, the devil, the result is that he hasn't, much to his domain, but before it actually writes his name down there. Which, of course, he got excited. The two head off. Of course, the two head back to the North Pole. Everybody's cheering. They're happy. That's when somehow the transfer wears off, turning the devil back to normal, and out of nowhere, Santa Claus reappears, where he is about to present the devil with a gift better than a toy train, which, of course, you see it better? The joy of being nice. This at first didn't seem serious to the devil, but the latter soon goes into a mental breakdown. Literally, he gets super pissed off before turning back to hell. As he brings Henchman back as well, who's happily to say goodbye to the latter. As Adele returns, he goes into a state of depression as he didn't get what he wanted as he eats Stickler's sandwich. Suddenly, he hears a train whistle and finds a larger version of a toy train in the middle of his throne room. The devil becomes overjoyed, thinking that Santa did get him the train that he wanted as. He's done the conductor's hat and outfit and he have some great time. As we zoom way back, and it wasn't and here's the thing, it wasn't Santa who got who got him the train. It was none other than Henchman who actually built the train. Ironically, honorary, as he hides behind the throne, he wishes the devil a happy Christmas. Damn. So, there is actually one person who cared, the henchman, because, face it, henchman is always the caring type. And this is a character who only appeared in the, well, he did mere appearance in the game, but as one as a minion in the final boss battle against the, in the, in the devil's room, when you're in the devil's room, in the devil, in the, when you're fighting against the devil. But we never get a more detailed story about that, about henchman, never did. Him is like the the caring type for an imp, but yeah, the fun part is like he just built the train set right there, and the devil doesn't know it. I see the devil happy, he got his present. I don't know where it's not from. It's actually from him, and I guess he makes it more better because hey. And yeah, that was a a very devil Christmas. And to me, it's actually pretty funny because, first of all, the one that made me laugh is because Santa has his own stickler, which, what the hell? Hold on, hold on. You tell me any powerful being, like if you're the devil, Chris Kringle. I imagine there are other ones that have their own stickler, maybe God. Because, hey, there's a hell. That has to be an inkwell heaven as well. And there has to be the afterlife, like the land of the dead. Because, hey, maybe they didn't. Limbo. Maybe they have their own stickler. I don't know. 
But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Plus, we had some cameos from other characters like Sally Stageplay. You recognize her. She's one of the bosses from the game. And also, she made her first appearance in the one where Cuphead, Miss Chalice, Mugman trying to pretend to be Ghostbusters. Yeah. Then we have Bull Boy, which this is the weirdest one of all. We have Elephant, Screwdriver Clerk. Rig Rigby and Croaks, the two boxers. Telephone, who finally got his soul back. Damn. Ma. The likeness in a snowman and a snow monster. Sammy Sandwich. Inkwell Citizen. Little Susie mentioned. Dogs, Mugman, and Elder Kettle mentioned the tag. Well, they didn't appear, but they were mentioned in the tags. The Christmas tags. And damn. I kind of like it that. And the funny part, you want to know something? This episode was inspired by how the Grinch stole Christmas. Like, you know, like, except the, when the Grinch steals Christmas, the devil has to pretend to be Santa so he can be on the nice list until midnight. So there's like a twist right there. But yeah, what do you think of, plus the design of Santa and his workshop in the elves is a reference to Walt Disney Silly Symphony Shorts. Which, yeah. We have to coin that and coin from Shorts Santa's Workshop and The Night Before Christmas. If you remember that, that's actually the same design. They use that design from Walt Disney's cartoon shorts, Christmas cartoon shorts featuring Santa Claus. I think that was one done by MGM as well. Trying to remember, I think so. I think they did MGM or it was a Disney, but yeah, I do remember there was a a bit of a ooh, 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 where Santa is actually checking every doll, and one doll came with a pygmy doll. You think, mommy? Yeah, that was a <laughs> collar pulling right there. <laughs> Ouch, Santa! Damn. <laughs> but yeah, I like. And this was a good episode because it's, a, it's actually features more of a devil in the holiday season. But like, what was the devil like during the holidays? I do not know. But now we got it's like, except like you know, how like the Grinch is always grouchy. He hates Christmas. He wants to steal it. The devil like likes to torture people. He goes, "Hey, he's the devil. Of course, he's gonna torture the hell out of everybody." But he wants something. He has to be nice for one until midnight. He kind of screws up. He backs out and do it until he turns into. It's like a damn parody combined, a parody of Satan's cult with Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, but this is actually a good episode because it's kind of, okay, he, becomes, he has to be the new Santa Claus, but it's got a reference to the Tim Allen movies of the Santa Claus because he killed Santa, he's the new Santa. Except he didn't get cursed. Devil did, he turned into Kris Kringle himself. But I like Henchman here because he's like the one who likes... Okay, he's not like the other imps or like devil, like he's supposed to be evil. He's, like, he's more like the kind guy and the caring one. And plus, he's the only one who helps the devil in this mission to be nice. Like, when to follow the rules and everything. Plus, he has to be a reindeer since the devil insulted the other reindeers once they ran away. <laughs> and he was scolded when he destroys Elf Stickler. <laughs> to the fr when all the other scream, <laughs> but yeah, that is a very that was the episode of a very devil Christmas. And did you like this? And what was your favorite part of this special? Because hey, this is on Netflix, so you can just go ahead and watch it. It's season three, episode six of the Cuphead Show, and it's like it's the thirty first. Overall, of all the the season of the all three seasons, well, this is a good short. It was directed by Adam Paulonian. It was written by Deki Deki Deek Clay Morrow, Adam Poloni, Cosmos Segurson, and Dave Watson. Which was actually between the middle of the Holly Tree Edition and Special Delivery. And yeah. Let me know what you think of the Cuphead Show, Episode 6, A Very Devil Christmas. Did you like this episode? Does it, does it, does it give you, like, the How the Grinch Stole Christmas vibe, but with a, with a twist, like, in reverse? Instead of stealing Christmas, you have to be nice to be get off the naughty list? Especially if you're the Lord of Darkness here himself. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you about what was your favorite scene, what was your favorite gag song, you know it. And do you think the devil deserved to be on the nice list or what? I don't know, but to me it's pretty funny. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, hit the bell, like this video so you'll miss any of, our, any of our great content. And I'll see you next time, people. And happy holidays. Peace.